the day we're taking a look at these college football matches, which are happening on Wednesday, December 28, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Also, check out our perks and join the High Stakes membership. Joining the High Stakes membership is easy, is cheap, but it will help a lot in the growth process of this channel. Plus check out our Patreon in the link down below if you want access for our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation, so make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions, you will find the link in the description and comments section below. UCF Knights vs Duke Blue Devils. The UCF Knights come into this matchup with a record of 9-4 this year. The last time they stepped onto the field, the Knights played against the Tulane Green Wave and took a loss by a score of 45-28. Isaiah Boser was the leader on the ground for the Knights with 20 carries for 85 yards, 4.3 yards per carry. John Rees Plumlee went 21-39 with 209 yards through the air and one touchdown. He had a QB rate of 107.3 and ended the contest without throwing a pick. In the running game, the Knights gave up 254 yards on 31 attempts, which is 8.2 yards per rush allowed. UCF surrendered 20 completions on 33 tries for 394 yards and a completion rate of 60.6%. Once the final whistle blew, they ran 96 plays for 410 yards. The UCF Knights ran the ball 48 times and accrued 145 yards, which is an average of 3.0 yards per carry. When it comes to putting points on the board, the UCF Knights hold an average of 34.4 points per game. As a team they're averaging 236.1 yards via the ground game which has them sitting 8th in the country. The Knights have earned 6,248 total yards this season. With reference to distribution of touchdowns, UCF has compiled 22 touchdowns through the air and 33 touchdowns via the ground. UCF has compiled 321 first downs as a unit and they have been called for 65 penalties for 621 yards. They have turned the football over 21 different times. Concerning yards via the pass, the Knights have allowed 2,939 yards, which has them ranked 93rd in the country. They have surrendered 226.1 yards per contest through the air and conceding a completion percentage of 58.7%. For the year, they have allowed 382.3 yards contest, which ranks them 71st in the nation. They have allowed 16 touchdowns by air, as well as 21 touchdowns pounding the rock. They are allowing an average of 4.5 yards per rushing attempt and 156.2 rushing yards per contest this year. During the season, they have given up 2,031 rushing yards through 13 games. The Knights rank 39th in Division 1 when it comes to the opposition scoring, allowing 23.2 points per contest. UCF was a high-scoring offensive team at times this season, but the injury issues that plagued Plumlee over the course of the second half of the season impacted the team down the stretch. The Knights also lost key contributors defensively on the field and in the coaching staff with the departure of Williams. Losing O'Keefe from the passing game is going to hamper things for them as well. Meanwhile, Duke played solid football down the stretch and they have a world of momentum going for them here. Mike Elko was named ACC Coach of the Year for his efforts with the Blue Devils this season and with the question marks for UCF, you have to back Duke in this contest. Our first pick is Duke Blue Devils minus 3 points. The Blue Devils step onto the field holding a record of 8-4 this season. When they last stepped on the field, the Blue Devils got the victory with a final of 34-31 when they faced the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Riley Leonard, four touchdowns, ended the game with 391 yards on 29 41 passing, while his quarterback rating was 178.2. He had one pick, and his YA was 9.5. Jack Ismore carried the rock six times for 62 yards, finishing the game with 10.3 yards per attempt for Duke. The Blue Devils finished the game with 507 yards, and they ran 71 plays, 7.1 yards per play. Duke ended up running for 3.9 yards per attempt, finishing the game with 116 yards on 30 carries. Duke relinquished 32 running attempts for 106 yards, 3.3 yards per rush. 
the Blue Devils pass defense conceded a completion percentage of 61.9%, surrendering 347 yards on 26 for 42 passing. The Knights are 53rd in the FBS in passing offense as they average 244.5 yards per game through the air. UCF is 7th in the nation in rushing offense with 236.1 yards per contest. The Knights are 26th of the 131 teams in the FBS to take the field this season in scoring offense as they put up 34.4 points per game. UCF is 40th in scoring defense as they give up 23.2 points a contest. John Rees Plumlee is 197 of 312 passing for 2,404 yards, with 14 touchdowns and 7 interceptions. He adds a team leading 841 yards plus 11 scores on the ground. Mikey Keane is 60 of 83 for 647 yards with 6 touchdowns and 1 interception on the year. Thomas Costellanis is 9 of 16 for 75 yards, while adding 120 yards and a score on the ground. Johnny Richardson is fourth on the team in the ground game with 51 carries for 340 yards and this season. Isaiah Boser, 194 carries, 760 yards, 14 TD, and RJ Harvey, 112 carries, 767 yards, 5 TD, are the top two backs in the running back pecking order. Ryan O'Keefe leads the team with 73 receptions for 725 yards and 5 scores on the season. Javen Baker, 54 grabs, 747 yards, 5 TD, and Kobe Hudson, 34 receptions, 578 yards, 7 TD, are solid targets in the aerial assault. Daniel Labarski is 10 of 10 on extra points and 0 of 2 on field goal attempts this season. Colton Boomer is 41 of 42 on extra points and 14 of 15 on field goals, with a long of 43 this season. On the year, the Blue Devils are 60th in the nation in passing offense, with 236.4 yards per game, and 39th in rushing offense, as they grind out 184.8 yards per contest on the ground. Duke is 33rd in the FBS in scoring offense, as they put up an average of 33.1 points per contest, while the team is 36th in scoring defense, by allowing 22.8 points per game. Riley Leonard is 231 of 363 for 2,794 yards, with 20 touchdowns and 6 interceptions, with a team leading 636 yards, plus 11 scores on the ground. Henry Bell and IV is 5 of 6 passing for 43 yards in limited action. Jordan Waters, 120 carries, 561 yards, 8 TD, Jack is more, 67 carries, 465 yards, 4 TD, and Jalen Coleman, 95 carries, 427 yards, 4 TD, have all had success in the ground game. Jordan Moore leads the team with 57 receptions for 643 yards and 5 scores this season. Jalen Calhoun, 56 catches, 811 yards, 4 TD, Eli Pankall, 21 grabs, 335 yards, and Sommer Hagens, 27 receptions, 368 yards, 5 TD, are the only other players with more than 300 receiving yards on the year. Charlie Ham has hit all 29 extra point attempts and 9 of 15 field goal tries with a long of 45 on the year. Todd Polino has hit all 20 extra point attempts and 5 of 6 field goals with a long of 42 on the season. The Duke Blue Devils are averaging 421.2 yards per outing, ranking them 41st in college football. The Duke offense has racked up 652 yards of penalties on 67 violations, which is good for 89th in college football in terms of helping out the opposition. For the season so far, the Blue Devils have racked up 2,837 passing yards, in addition to an average of 236.4 passing yards per contest, which has them sitting 60th in Division I. In relation to their ability to score points, the Blue Devils currently sit 34th in the nation, holding an average of 33.1 ppg. The performance of UCF in this game even taking into account the plummy hamstring and back of Castellanos filling in, will take this game to an higher points game due to the lower standings and defensive elements on both sides. The passing defense for UCF is 71st ranked and 107th ranked for Duke. UCF also has a 77th national rank in passing defense, and this will allow Duke to pile up commendable passing yards. With the UCF defense coaching shakeup recently, UCF will struggle to hold back Duke. The total has gone over in four of Duke's last six games, and over in four of Central Florida's last five games. Expect that trend to continue, go over for the win. Our second pick is over 62.5 points.